August the 19th, 1847. It rained badly. When doesn't it rain badly here on the West? Today was the first time that the British flag with the Queen of Great Britain and her husband had ever entered Fingal's cave, and the men gave three cheers which sounded very impressive indeed. Indeed! 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 I read to my dear Albert The Lady of the Lake by Walter Scott, which moved him very much in his thoughts of Germany. Nothing would make my Albert happier than recreating his woods and river castles of saxe coburg here. Not on this wind-swept west, but east and nearer Germany, on the bonny banks of Dee. Look what I found, Albert. Balmoral. A pretty little house in the old Scotch style. That cannot be replaced it. There's a great German tower in the style of the Rhine. But it's not very Scottish, dear. Ah, <laughs> pump a little tongue. Das ist das allerbeste. <laughs> Albert. In saxe coburg the old Vescapa Towers was a little Nusperhausen, a crunchy little cottage on the top. Another hair? Now, but dear, you're turning our Highland holiday home into a castle. An Englishman's castle is his Scottish home. Mine house, mine burg, or Balmoral. Arriving at Balmoral, we found the castle built. The tower, without the scaffolding, made a perfect seal. The view from here, looking down across the Tal, or glen, or valley, reminds us very much of the Thuringerwald, with its wild woods and hills all around. Oh, dark Loch Nagar. <laughs> Finish him off myself. You only half killed him, man. But like these flies, quickly brushed away. Oh, just shake it like nobody else, woman. A wee, uh, wee refreshment would soon have me back in the hill. There's still money of bunny hinds springing up there in dark Loch Nagar. Then let us go, my valiant Jägermeister. What strength you have today. Aye. If it were not for the pernicious habit of wanking my doodle, I'd be a veritable Hercules the new. If only Lancy had been here to capture all the colour and dash, what a picture he would have made. Albert aimed and shot twice. The noble animal never rose, but struggled and groaned, so that Brown went and gave him another shot, which killed him at once. It was a most exciting sight. Every year my heart becomes more fixed in this dear paradise, now that my Albert's passed away. All this was my Albert's own creation, own work, own building, own laying out. Balmoral is his memorial here on Earth. I hail from the banks of the beautiful Silvery Day, which flows from Perth to Dundee, and then back again, twice every day. I've got a poem here for Her Majesty. And I've walked all the way. <coughs> Custodian! I seek an audience with my dearly beloved queen. I am, sir, the greatest poet, versifier, and tragedian that Dundee has ever seen. That's why I've come here to her castle on the banks of the Dee, where the rabbits and the hares and the stags do sport with mirthful glee. So away bang the big hoose and gear a call. I am, sir, your obedient servant, William Topaz McGonagall. Pardon? I hope the day is near at hand when strong drink will be banished from this land. Cease from strong drink, and you'll likely do very well. And then there's not so much danger of going to hell. You should write that down. Victoria is a good queen. Her subjects must confess. There hasn't been her equal since the days of good Queen Bess. God prosper long, our noble queen. Long may she wear her crown, and while she's at Balmoral, protect her from John Brown. 
What impertinence to the memory of my brave gallant. Oh. There's a wee who's mang the heather, there's a wee who's o'er the sea, there's a lassie in that wee who's waiting patiently for me. She's a picture of perfection, oh, I wouldn't tell a lee. If you'd seen her, you would love her just the same. To the White House. <laughs> <laughs> my waggle and my kilt went down very well with the Americans. Oh, yes, yes. I, I played golf with the President of the United States. Uh, I, oh, yes, I did, I did. I, I, I did. I gave up the game, though, when I lost my ball. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, the President, he made me the first laddie of America with my wee sugar and my kilt. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, there you go. Oh, I gave the Yanks a taste of Scotland. Not, of course, that they hadn't had a wee four taste before that, of course, with the old fit tapping Scotch operas like the Lucia Lammermoor show, Tack of the Wall, Lackie. Talking about morning, talking about morning, it takes me back to the green hills of Forest Lawn, to that beautiful wee cemetery across the sea in California, where there will I be a patch that is forever Bonnie Scotland. Annie Laurie's ain, a wee kirk o' the heather, where the Hollywood movie moguls lie in peace, reluctantly. May their spirits rest. And, talking about spirits... Aye, you'll hear a wee refreshment with me afore you go. Mm. Oh. Take off your dram. Drich your weird, bide your wee, and a wee dioch in Doris. Mind you, the sales of Scotch whiskey fair shot up when I was doing one of my shows. They even hung my full-length portrait next to the monarch of the Glen in Castle Jewers back in London. They say that I would have won the Queen Anne Award for Export if the old Queen hadn't gone indeed on me, eh? <laughs> 